I'm going to show you how to add an image to your startup screen. So basically every time you turn on your radio, uh, this one's a Baofeng 5RM. And this also works with most of the newer screens of the Baofeng radios. So when you turn it on, um, there'll be a quick load up image. So you can change that to whatever you want. So if I turn the radio off, turn it back on. It brings up the image that I want it to. It only stays on for a second, but that's your only option with this radio. But you do get to choose whatever you want, and you have to pick a particular size for the image. So I'm going to show you how to take any image you want, uh, downsize it to work on the radio, and uh, how to upload it with uh, Baofeng software so you can have any image startup that you want. To add that image to the screen, um, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need uh, the Baofeng software that either came with your radio or it can be downloaded from their website online. I'll put a link to the software that I use that's free that you can just download from the website. Um, it doesn't have uh, the software specifically for this radio yet, but you can use the uh, UV... 17 Pro download and it'll allow you to upload the image to this uh, with no issues at all. So you need to download that to the computer. You also need a, a COM cord. Um, this one's Baofeng labeled but it's a uh, standard cable that you find works with a lot of radios on it. Um, I'll put a link to this below in case you don't already have one. And need to find one. They're relatively cheap. They start anywhere from two or three dollars from uh, uh, some of the overseas companies to around nine dollars or so on Amazon. So it's not terribly expensive, but you you will need this to be able to upload that image to it. Um, I'll show you uh, what you need to do with software next. Now you can use a free program. Uh, you can even use Microsoft Paint that comes with the computer or whatever came with yours. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it using uh, uh, Paint.net, which is a free downloadable program that gives you a little more fine-tuning on sizes with it. But uh, the next step, I'll show you how to downsize the image that you need and get the correct size. I'm going to use a free program called Paint.net. Um, uploaded, uh, brought up an image that I designed earlier, and you want to uh, size it to where it's on a close to at least a 1600 by 280 width to begin with. If you can get close to those dimensions when you make your final image, it won't distort it at all. So you just need to resize it and change the file type to a bitmap file that'll work. So all you need to do is just go here and uh, hit resize and then select what you want. Uh, turn off the uh, maintain aspect ratio and just make the width 160 and the height 128 and then hit OK. I'll resize it to the exact image dimensions you need. Um, and then with this, you just save it, save as. Gives you the option of what you wanted to save it as. So I want to save it as a bitmap file. Click bitmap and then rename it whatever you want. Save it to the location you want. Just hit save. It needs to be a small file. So with bitmaps, most all of them are small, but you want it under 100 kilobytes if possible. Just hit OK to save it. And that'll be the file size that you need. And save it somewhere that you know where it's at, like on your desktop, so it makes it easy to find when you upload it to your radio. Okay, now you need to uh, load up your Baofeng software. Uh, 
if you don't have it you can go to their website and download it um, with this one I'm using the UV 17 uh, download since they don't have um, a copy of the software that's specifically meant for the 5RM yet so but you can use the UV 17 Pro software and it, it works great with it so just once you've got your image set up you come to the tools select it then select power on picture it brings up the com it should be the newest communication port and that should be your uh, Baofeng uh, communication cord that you plugged in you need to make sure you've got your radio plugged in to it all the way tight and turn it on then click open image you save it to your desktop like this remember it's got to be a bitmap file so the BMP file and it has to be exactly 160 by 128 so you select it hit OK it brings up what's going to load onto your screen just hit import finds it loads it to your RM5 and this will also work with most any of the later Alphwang radios just hit OK for finished X out of that close your software and then um, turn your radio off and then once it's off unplug the communication cord and then when you turn it back on welcome. at your welcome screen it should show that image for you and that's all you need to do for that part so now anytime you turn your radio on it should boot up to your welcome. customized screen and uh, you can change that at any time you can upload another image and it'll just copy over that file and uh, just be creative do whatever you want with it so if this helped you at all or you liked it please like and subscribe i'll try to publish some more videos about the radio here um, helps a lot check the links below i'll have uh, links to the download uh, for the software if you don't have it already um, also the cord if you need it and any other info i can add that'll help you out so appreciate you watching thanks a lot